that must be caught with tickling. Tis but fortune, all is fortune. Maria once told me she did affect me, and I have heard herself come thus near, that should she fancy it should be one of my complexion. Malvolio thinks Olivia's got a crush on him, because that's what Maria's told him. Although we know it's a lie. Sir Toby, Sir Andrew and Fabian are spying on Malvolio, who's imagining what it would be like to be Olivia's partner. This makes the others mad and even more determined to trick Malvolio and make him feel small. M-O-A-I. I make up that. He is now the cold scent. So to will cry upon for all this, though it be as rank as a fox. M. Malvolio. M. Why, that begins my name. Malvolio's picked up the fake letter that Maria left on the bench and he's thrilled to discover that it's from Olivia. Maria has faked Olivia's handwriting. The fake letter tells him that Olivia is secretly in love with him. At first, he doesn't get what the letters M-O-A-I mean. But then he decides that they're letters from his name. It takes him ages to work this out. What do you think that Shakespeare wants us to think about Malvolio's character? My lady loves me. She did commend my yellow stockings of late. She did praise my leg being cross-gartered. And in this, she manifests herself to my love and with a kind of injunction drives me to these habits of her liking. Malvolio agrees to do everything the letter tells him to. He's been well and truly tricked. The letter says he should never speak to Olivia about his love, but instead he should wear a pair of yellow stockings. He should be really grumpy with servants, act like he's married to Olivia, and he's really important. Remember... Olivia's his boss and doesn't know anything about the letter. How do you think Olivia will react to his change in behaviour? Wilt thou set thy foot on thy neck? Or am I neither? <laughs> Shall I play my freedom at trade trip and become thy bond slave? If faith or I either. Why, thou hast put him in such a dream that when the image of it leaves him, he must run mad! So Toby's saying here that he wants to wind Malvolio up as much as he can, until he goes mad. They're all really pleased that Malvolio has been conned. But have these tricksters gone too far? Although Malvolio's a bit full of himself and not very nice to others, do you think he deserves this treatment? Do you feel sorry for him, or has he brought this all on himself? Nay, but say true, does it work upon him? Like Aquavita with a midwife! If you will then see the fruits of the sport mark his first approach before my lady, he will come to her in yellow stockings, <laughs> and tis a colour she abhors, and cross-gartered, a fashion she detests, and he will smile upon her, which will now be so unsuitable to her disposition, being addicted to a melancholy as she is, that it cannot but turn him into a notable contempt. If you will see it... Follow me <laughs> to the gates of Tartar! <laughs> now, most excellent devil of wit! <laughs> I'll make one too! <laughs>